how to grow sweet by day onions. That's what we're talking about today. First, let's talk about what a Vidalia onion is. A Vidalia onion is a onion grown in a particular area in Georgia. Around the middle Georgia area, there's a town named Vidalia, Georgia. A Vidalia onion has to be grown in a surrounding county around Vidalia, Georgia. It's a 20 county area there. I think it's 13 counties that are in total and then there's another seven counties that are part of this Vidalia growing area. To be a true Vidalia onion, it has to be grown in that area, and also it has to be a particular variety or a particular type of onion grown. So those two things is what it takes to be true Vidalia onion. So if you live in that area there and you use a Vidalia approved variety, you can grow a Vidalia onion. However, if you do not live in that area, but you use a Vidalia approved variety, you can grow a Vidalia type sweet onion. Okay, we're gonna talk about the three R's, the right type, the right time, and the right fertilizer. But the first thing we're gonna talk about is the right type. So the Vidalia Onion Commission approved these varieties and there's a variety list and it gets sent to the U.S. Department of Agriculture and they approve this list. Now this is an ever-changing list of varieties that are approved to be Vidalia onions. So there's two ways you can grow Vidalia type onions. You can grow the, buy the plants and we sell the plants here at Hall's Tools. And the ones we sold this year is Sapelo, Sofire, and Vidora. All three of these are Vidalia type onions. Or if you decide to grow your own onions, which is very well possible, we sell a 338 tray, which is perfect for growing onion plants here. And this is what your plants will look like, something similar to this right here. You would purchase from us a Vidalia approved variety and you could grow your own onion plants out. Takes somewhere in the neighborhood to four to six weeks to grow this plant out under ideal conditions. But if you just want to buy onion plants, it's probably the easiest way to do it. You can just purchase onion plants, Vidalia approved varieties, and we will send them to you when you need to plant them. Now, if you get your onion plants in, like this right here, but there's a storm that's coming up, it's too wet, or you got something going on in your family where you can't plant them, or something going on in your life where you can't plant them right then, what you want to do when they come in is you want to take the rubber band off and you want to spread these out so they get good air. They want to be in a cool, dry place, and these plants will last a few days before you have to plant them. If you leave them bundled up, or if you leave them uh, in an area there where they can't get good circulation, they're gonna get a little slimy on you, and they're not gonna last as long. So that's the way you wanna keep these plants, if you can't plant them right away. Of course, the best thing is, as soon as you get your onion plants in and get them in the dirt, they do a little bit better if you can get them in quicker, but as we all know, life happens sometimes and we can't plant them when we get them in. So there's a tip for you to get when you get your onion plants in if you need to hold them for a few days before you plant them. Okay, let's talk about the right time to plant your onions to get Vidalia type onions. You want to plant them in the fall of the year. You're going to be planting your short day variety and you want to plant them in November, December. My ideal time to plant them is in November. We like to overwinter these onions and in the early springtime, normally around March, we're gonna have nice big onions. When we do that, everything is ideal. Now, if you miss that fall planting date and you plant them early spring, you're still gonna make a Vidalia type onion. The difference is it's not gonna be as big. You're gonna make a smaller type onion. To make those big onions that we all love to brag about, we're gonna plant them in November, December at the latest, and they're gonna overwinter and it's gonna be perfect growing conditions to get those big jumbo Vidalia sweet onions. Okay, let's talk about the right fertilizer. Now there's two different ways we can fertilize our onions. If we put them on drip tape, we can use a liquid fertilizer that we inject into our drip lines to fertilize our onions. Or if we're not using drip tape, we use a dry fertilizer to fertilize our onions. We're gonna go over both ways of doing this because some people plant on drip tape, some do not. Sometimes I use drip tape and sometimes I don't. It's just according to how everything works out for me. If we're using a liquid fertilizer, 
I like to pre-plant or pre-fertilize with my organic fertilizer. And if I'm using a granular program, I like to do the same thing. So this pre-fertilizing uh, with this organic fertilizer is a way I do both of them. I like to work this into my soil about a week before planting. And this is an organic fertilizer, a 543. And this is a hen uh, manure that's pelletized somewhat. And it's easy to handle and it helps to get those microbes going. And it is a great way to jumpstart those onions. Now, if we're going to a liquid system through our drip tape, we're gonna use a balanced fertilizer such as this right here. This is a 20-20-20. And we're gonna use ammonia sulfate. And this ammonia sulfate is a greenhouse grade. And this is really important. This can be used as a side dress, as a granular, or this can be used in our injector, injected into the lines. Not all ammonia sulfate can be done that way. You wanna make sure that you use a greenhouse grade and ours is a greenhouse grade. Another product that we will use is the micro boost. So we're gonna use these three products right here to fertilize our onions if they're on drip system after planted because we're using our organic for pre-plant. And you can go to our website, to our Hoss University, our onion growing guide, and we lay out specifically in there how you use these three products right here to keep your onions fertilized. Okay, so we're not using drip tape and we're planting and we need to use a granular fertilizer to keep our onions growing. Well, we've used our complete organic a week before planting. Then we plant our onions. Now we want to use a well-balanced fertilizer such as our Hoss 101010 all-in-one. And now this product here has your minor elements in it as well. So we're pretty much covering all the basics with this 101010 all-in-one. We want to do this about two weeks after planting and you want to use somewhere around a cup every 10 feet, somewhere in that neighborhood there, and side dress right next to that plant. And then after that, you want to alternate with our ammonia sulfate. This is the same product we're using for our injection, but we're using it in a different way. We're actually side dressing this product next to the plant. So we want to use the 10, 10, 10, about two weeks after planting, side dress it, wait about another 10 days to two weeks, and we want to do the same thing with our ammonia sulfate. We're going to alternate these two right here. And this is going to give that plant everything it needs to have all the nutrients it needs to grow out to be a big onion. Now with both of these systems here, here's a very important part. 30 days before harvest, sometime in late February for us, we want to cut off all fertility, all fertilizer. We want to cut it off. And what that's going to do is that's going to make those big bubs. We get to that bubbing stage with that onion. We want to cut fertilizer off and we want to let that plant bulb out and make those big onions. It's important to do that because if we don't, we're going to continue to have the vegetative growth of that onion. And that's not what we want to grow those big onions. Also, it's going to spur on some disease problems. So cutting off all the fertility 30 days before harvest is really important. Okay, so you used the right type onion, you planted it at the right time, and you used the right fertility program. You can grow those big Vidalia type sweet onions. One thing about onions is we're growing it during the part of the year where we're not growing a lot of other th things in the garden. So we've got plenty of room to grow them. We're not growing a lot of other crops, so we can give these onions a lot of attention. And it is fun to grow those big onions that we can harvest and we can store for months to come. That's one reason we enjoy growing onions so much.